Um, very difficult for you after a game like that to summar summarise. It's uh, uh, it's fair to say it wasn't the best performance, was it? Oh, I can probably summarise it quite quite easily by saying it was rubbish. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we we <laughs> I don't know where it's come from. I really do not know where that's come from today. Um, we've been for the last couple of months. We've been very good, um, and even when we haven't been good, we've done our jobs. Um, we didn't do our jobs, and we weren't very good. Um, where do you put your finger on it? We talked to them before the game about complacency. We talked to them before the game about you know they're going to come here and they're going to give everything. They're going to fight for everything. They they may only get one chance, which they did. Um, and you know we, we we make an error, they score a goal. But at the other end, we haven't made their keeper work at all. And you know right across the pitch, we you know, Lawrence played well, um, but Lawrence always plays well. He does his job. He doesn't do anything else, and that's that's what Lawrence is about. Um, Kingy hasn't had anything to do. But some of the other players, you know, going forward, I thought we were poor, you know, the touch, the, um, everything about our game today was just not us. Mm. And it's like I said to him in, in, at the end, you know, I'm not, I'm not angry, I'm, I'm just disappointed because they, they've come so far and we should have won today yeah. on paper and looking at the two teams, you know, we're a better side than them, mm. but we didn't perform. And you know, if we're not gonna if we're not gonna perform, then we're gonna get nothing. And you don't, you know, someone said we should have had a penalty first half. You earn the right to get a penalty, and we didn't earn anything today. Um, and I know we scored at the end there, and he's, he's disallowed it for offside. It's a tough call in there to call that offside. You know, it's meant to be clear daylight. I don't think it is, um, but he's made a decision. That's, that, that's yeah. fair enough. But we didn't deserve it anyway. No. You know, they deserve their three points today. They're a side that are fighting to stay in the league, and um, you know, and, and good luck to them next week. You know, they've they've done the job here today on us. Yeah. Um, it's just disappointing. Well, that's the word that uh, most of the supporters left. The word, the the, the ground today. You know, disappointed. Mm, yeah, um, it was. You know, end of season. You know, it's the last game they're going to see here before next season starts. And you know, we we should have served them up something better. You, you yeah, know, not just the supporters. You know, I mean, we said that beforehand. You know, I left a leaflet on the gate today. You know, thanking the supporters for all their support. And you know, I, I'm, I said to them before the game. You know, you owe them. I owe them support or something because you know the times we've been away from home at Worthing and Burgess Hill and, and all that and w we've been supported mm. th through thick and thin and we, they deserve more mm. but I tell you deserve more today it was Joe yeah you know the chairman he's been here 20 odd years he stands down everyone knows he's standing down and I said to him beforehand they he's backed us to their hilt to get mm. us in a position where we're not Burgess Hill today yeah um, and you know I, I can't thank Joe enough and I, I feel like I've let Joe down today mm. and yet I shouldn't feel like that because it's my players that have let them down yeah. but fundamentally it's my job I'm the manager and the buck stops me I understand that but yeah they've, they've let him down today and I'm, I'm disappointed for that and I'm disappointed for Joe yeah. um, last home game you know, as a, as a chairman and we should have gone out on a high today and yeah, you know, I, I am I'm really disappointed but you know in saying that you know you look at the Premier League and you know Wigan went to the Emirates last week and beat Arsenal um, you know these things happen in yeah. football. You know they've come here; they needed to get the, the result. They've got it. They've got it. Um, you know I'll, I'll be unlucky a little bit. You know, can I hammer them too much? Probably not. You know we've worked hard last couple of months. And, yeah. You know it's just a shame that we've not turned it on at home in the last game. But I need a reaction now. You know we've got Whiteleaf next week, and I, someone just said to me, "Well, the permutations at the bottom." I don't care about the permutations no. at the bottom. I care about us going up there and getting three points. Yeah. End of story. And, and there's a few of them lads that have got to show, you know, they're playing for the shirts for next year. You know, I, I, was, I was convinced a few of them in my head for next year, yeah, we're definitely going to have them, we're going to offer them some stuff. And they've questioned, now I've got question marks over their heads again. So they've got to show me next week that they can fight back. Yeah. And of course, um, after next week, we, we're looking, in, all we're looking towards then is building for next year, as you quite rightly said. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot going on behind the scenes. Yeah. You know, we're working, we've worked a lot this week and last week. We've done, a, there's been a lot of phone calls going on. Obviously, with Ian, Ian being uh, recruited in as development manager, that, you know, hopefully we'll go on the website this week. This is for the youth? Session. No, 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 it's just for the development of the club, right? Mm. So, so all football, it's from first team all the way down. It's not just for the youth. That's good. We're, we are looking at the whole structure. Uh, there'll be a couple of announcements in the next few days about who's doing what for next season and you know we're looking to build and, and, and not just build first team but build from, from the youth structure up we need a little bit of structure um, and 
it's exciting times. Um, with Richard and I are making some calls now, obviously for players for next year. We need to start that process. It's going to be a busy summer for yeah. Richard and I, and you know, with Ian Greaves coming on board, it's going to be busy for him. And there's a lot to do now. Um, but yeah, it's, it, it's exciting times. Disappointed today, but let's look at the bigger picture now. We've got to go next week, get, get three points, and then we've got a long old summer ahead. Um, and like I said in my program notes today, you know, the journey's only just started, and once we get a few players in in the summer. Um, we'll be ready come August 18th. Good. Well, thanks very much again, Justin. I know there's a lot of supporters have said that uh, they enjoy your honesty. Um, two or three guys come up to me today and said, uh, "Well done for the way the managers responded." Uh, you know, not all, always. Uh, you know, when we've had a, a great result, you've still fronted up when uh, things haven't gone well. So I'm pleased about that, and well yeah, done to you. I, I think I think you have to. Yeah. I think you know it's the, the policy that I you know I take. I decided to take when I become a manager. I'm honest to them in there, and I'll be honest to the guys out there that pay money through the gate. You know, when we're, when we're good, I'll say we're good. When we're poor, I'll say we're poor, whether we win or lose. Um, that's just the way I am. Um, but we're poor today. <laughs> Everyone can know that. We were very poor today, and we were disappointed. Yeah. Um, but we'll, we'll go again in midweek, and we'll be ready for next session. Good. Okay. Well, thanks very much, and good luck next week. Cheers, Dan.